talking about doing things that we love to do in the summer. For Carson, it's definitely being outdoors in the garden. Here he is with a lesson on protecting your veggies from unwanted visitors. I want to welcome you to my garden. This is my space where I love to have, you know, my outdoor quiet time. I'm a gardener. This is where I do it. Everything I grow here is edible. And edible means I get lots of bugs and pests. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite solutions to stopping mother nature from eating my vegetables. The first, I put mesh over things. This is my strawberry patch. I get birds, I get chipmunks. Everybody wants to eat the strawberries when they start to ripen. So I go with a simple mesh system on top of just some tomato holders. These are tomato steaks. The mesh allows all the rain to come through, all the sunlight, but it keeps the birds and the little critters out. Another really easy solution, movement. Put something that moves in your garden with wind. Birds don't like unpredictable motion. And this guy just kind of blows every time the wind blows through it. And you know, it's kind of cool. My grandmother had this, it's vintage. Speaking of vintage, this is the vintage flower that my grandmother used to use in her gardens. Now there was a really specific reason she did that. They smell terrible. In fact, if you put these in your garden near things that bugs like to eat, like peas or lettuce, the bugs will actually avoid that area because they only get the odor from the marigold and they think nothing good here to eat. Another good solution, garlic. I do the same with garlic. I plant garlic around my tomato plants for the exact same reason. Bugs don't like the smell. Just make sure to never put garlic near beans or peas. The two don't play well together.